Are you ever searching the internet for some stock photograph that you want to steal and it's got that confounded watermark text all over it repeating boom, 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 and it ruins everything. You can't steal it because of that. You get a sense for what the picture is, but you can't actually use it. Exactly. Watermark text. How do you add a watermark text to your map? For example, maybe you're working on a map and it's not ready for prime time, but you need to get feedback from a client or you want to take excerpts of it and share it for promotional or marketing purposes, but you don't want people to be able to actually snag the map itself. Watermarks. You don't have to be a graphic design expert to make a watermark graphic as proof. I'll make one in glorious Microsoft Paint. Yes, you heard me, Microsoft Paint. I'm gonna start out by giving myself a rectangle background and the fill is gonna be solid. And this is important. It's gotta be, uh, oops, color two. It's gotta be 50% gray. See when I mouse over this, it says gray 50%. That's important because we're gonna be using blend modes in ArcGIS Pro to paint out all of this grayness. This way you don't have to deal with transparency PNGs and stuff like that. This is the simplest version possible. Okay, we'll give it no outline. And now I'm going to add a block of text. I'll say watermark and I'll select it all and just make sure that it's um, white text. Did I get it? Yeah, okay. Now I'm gonna grab this little rectangle selection thingy and I'll grab somewhere within and I'll just crop it. So all I've got is a gray background, 50% gray background and the word watermark. And now I'm going to save this. Uh, you can save it as a PNG, JPEG, whatever you want. I'll save it as a PNG because it's just crisp stuff. And again, we're not dealing with transparencies, so there's not a total need to save it as a PNG, but this is the right thing to do. Now I'll save this as watermark. And in this case, I'm going to call it five because I've been doing some experimenting before the video. Save. Now back in ArcGIS Pro, we need to add an actual geographic layer that covers the whole world, or at least the extent of our map. No problem. I've got you covered. Right click and choose Add Data. And there's a fantastic resource in the ArcGIS Living Atlas of the World called Global background easily my favorite layer ever it's a gigantic rectangle that covers the whole world and it is exactly what you think it is a big rectangle that covers the whole world what the deuce why well let's dig into the symbology we just need this as a conveyance for our watermark image if I open the symbology panel for this global background instead of a solid fill we can choose picture fill and I'll set the quality to picture, make it kind of big, let's say uh, 400 points, which is pixels as far as I'm concerned. And then with this picture button, I'll just navigate to my watermark image and hit OK, and we'll hit Apply. OK, uh, I have a label turned on, so you can just ignore this stuff. See how it's a gray background with watermark repeating everywhere? All right, we're on our way. So with this layer selected, I'll go into the Appearance tab. Now blend modes are especially important with this trick because with the overlay blend mode, overlay ignores the gray tone and it brightens your map in areas that are lighter than 50% gray and it darkens your map in areas that are darker than 50% gray. So it'll treat 50% gray as nothing or fully transparent and it'll just drop in these little subtle watermarks for you if you want. Let me zoom out and see how. Okay, and you can tweak this to your heart's content by going into the properties for this symbol and just playing with the angle, for example. I'll make it 25 degrees, because that's, I notice watermarks are kind of angled like that. They wanna, they don't want you to be able to grab a little grid within it too easily. <laughs> Cat and mouse game with watermarks, cat and mouse. The space that we have here is indicative of how frequently this watermark word is gonna appear in your map. If you want it to be um, more frequent, just uh, make less of your image a big gray background, just crop it like this. Now watermark is gonna be 
uh, more frequently seen in your map. It'll tile. So remember how I said that that overlay blend mode will ignore neutral gray and lighten your map in areas of white and darken it in areas of black? Well, some of my map was just very light or white and you couldn't see it at all and it was very hard to see. So I'll do another word of watermark. Select it all, make it black, and I'll save this as number six. And back in Pro, I'll show you how it looks. I'll just point to this new watermark picture and bring its size down so we can see it. There, now we have dark and light versions of that watermark tiling across our map. Now you might be thinking, I don't need to deal with blend modes. I can use Photoshop or Illustrator. And you are right. You can just use a very basic transparent PNG with no background. But if you're not a graphic design aficionado and you're more comfortable in paint or, dare I say it, PowerPoint for your image editing, then you can totally do that. You're not stuck. Did I say PowerPoint? I actually did, didn't I? Okay, I'm gonna prove this to you. Yes, I know, I know your secrets. I know you're out there using PowerPoint for image editing. I've got you covered. So I'll type the word watermark here. Let's give it um, some kind of snazzy font that would look really good as a watermark. Oh man, that's cool. Looks like a field notes cover. And just like before, we're gonna give our background a 50% gray. Now, I don't see any kind of easy white background, one darker 50%. That makes me a little nervous. I just want to make sure that it's 50% gray. How do we do that? Well, let's go into more colors and we'll choose custom. And instead of 255, which is white, zero is black, we're going to go right in the middle ish. 127, 127, 127. That's 50% gray. 50% enough for a guy like me. And I'm going to make this white text. Let's um, let's play with some effects. With the text selected, I can go to the effects and I'll give it a shadow of black. And I'll just boost its blur. I like this feature, by the way. Okay, so here's white watermark with a blackish shadow and what will become neutral gray, essentially disappearing. How do I save this as an image? With this slide selected, I just choose File, Save As, and I choose a format that's an image like JPEG or PNG. I'll do PNG. I'll call it watermark seven for crying out loud. Hit save, just this slide. There's only one anyway. Now let's see what this looks like in pro. Picture, watermark seven, apply. Nice, very nice. Well, there you have it. This is how you make a repeating watermark graphic of whatever you like in ArcGIS Pro, even if you're not a graphic design aficionado and you use Paint or PowerPoint to create graphics. That's cool. You can still do it. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.